Hello, Governor! Sky Attack, oh frickin' P! Coming back with more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. How's it going, chaps? Okay, that, that was probably a terrible accent. So. Not, not one of my better British accents. Not one of my better British accents, I'd say. Wouldn't you say? Right load of wankers. Right load of dick chicks that one was. Wouldn't you say? Hey, what, what? I don't know. I don't know. Where where's this battle factory? Is there a factory? I know there's a factory. There's a factory somewhere. And I wanna take the factory direct challenge. Uh, if I can walk into a freaking door, it's not a challenging concept. Just walk into a flipping door. For the intelligence of the trainer is put to Yes, I I will challenge level 50. Why why not? Cause I don't think I'm using my own Pokemon. And if I am, then that's gonna be a problem. But if I remember correctly, Battle Factory, everything's fucking randomized and it's obnoxious. Mmm. Sorry about that. Need to be as professional as possible because professionalism is what this channel is based on. Conduct a little investigation about your upcoming opponent. Has no clear favorites. High risk, high return. Okay, so. What do we got here? Banfi, Pidgeotto, Coughing, Beedrill, Ferret, Cadaver. Let's, let's look at the summaries for these guys. Okay, I need, like, Moose. Okay. Um, twin needles. Twin needle might be good. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, definitely Pidgeotto. That could be useful. So we got Pidgeotto. Maybe Kadabra, because Kadabra's pretty tanky, and then. So, okay, so rent that, and then rent that, and then I'm going to close my eyes, and Bampy, okay, yes, that, that's my team, right there, go with it, that's what we're going with, look at all these scientists, look at all these nerds, if I win, you can have a sweet kiss, sweets for my sweets. Why uh, is that? I felt like I was trying to quote Hamlet, but I don't think that's Hamlet. Is that Hamlet? I will check that out because I have my fancy ass phone. So, actually, no, I'm not going to use my phone. That that'll be terrible. That'll be obnoxious because I then I have to hit the little ass button. Sweet or my sweets. What is this from? What is this from? Um. What is this from? Okay. So, searchers, no. Sweets for the sweet? Ah oh, yes, sweets to the sweets. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's. It's from Hamlet. I, I screwed up some of the words. Uh, I screwed up a few of them, but don't worry. Don't worry. It all, we all figured it out in the end, and it was all good. And then Sudowoodo and his giant rocky ball hands. Holy shit. I kind of want this guy on my team now. So, uh, Kadabra, beat an ass out there. Beat that ass. Use your spoon and fuck him in the anus. Because that's what spoons are for. 
spoons are for spooning, and spooning is slightly sexual, and sexual anus, and disable that because fuck you, and your six balls, and you're using sandstorm. Lovely! I love it, my stone, my spoon can do nothing. Uh, do ba do ba do scoop ba do do ba wa. Scoop do boop scap scoop do boop ba beep do boop ba. Yes, there is a sandstorm. I've noticed the sandstorm. It's being a real dick nozzle. And you're disabled no more, so I know what move you're going to use because you can now use it. Or you're not going to use that. You're going to use something completely different. And now for something completely different. What is that a quote from? Alright, let, let me quick use my attack and I'll look that up. Now for something completely different. What What is this from? And now for something completely different. Oh, it's from Monty Python. Okay. I like Monty Python. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. She turned me into a witch! A witch! But go better. No, wait, what? <laughs> she turned me into a witch? No, she turned me into a newt because she was the witch. And then he got better and everything buffed out. And everyone lived happily ever after until the boy got run over by a bus. So... Defense Carl, because I'm a douche. Yeah, yeah, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you, bitch? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can be a dirtbag. Can you attack? I don't know if this thing can attack. I honestly don't. It can use counter, and I think it can use reflect, both of which would fuck me up if they do damage to me. But I feel like I can just be a complete scumbag and, you know, be a scumbag. Hmm. Can I, can I be a scumbag? Can I be a scumbag? Look at my rocks. Look at my rocks. My rocks are amazing. Now give it a lick. It would taste just like bacon. Because if everything tasted like bacon, the world would be a lot better. You know what doesn't taste like bacon? Things that aren't bacon. And that's kind of depressing. Because it'd be a lot tastier if it did taste like bacon. You know why? Because it's bacon. I mean, it just kind of makes sense. Y you see that guy's shirt? You see how it's all rumpled up like bacon in a pan? You see how bad this guy looks? What? What's that? Oh. Hi. <laughs> let's let's just completely ignore the fact that we just insulted you, pretty much right in front of you, and uh, we'll we'll keep going. Yep, you counter. Look at that. Look at that dinky ass tail. That that is a pathetic tail. Look at that. It's like a little nub. It's like how let's let's count how many pixels are in that. Okay, so that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's like seven pixels defining your entire tail. That's not a tail to be proud of. Maybe in like NES era where seven pixels took up like a third of the screen. Yeah, that'd be an impressive tail, but really, it's not an impressive tail. It's not. And that's doing absolutely nothing to him, I think. Well, on the plus side, it does absolutely fucking nothing to me as well. So that's good. Yep, the sandstorm is doing more damage to him than me. This is going to be a long ass battle because I really don't like fucking fighting Wobbuffets because they're douchebags. Look at him, he's fucking karate chopping his head. He's like karate chopping himself in the face. He's like, ow, why does it hurt when I punch myself? And it's like, because you're punching yourself, dumbass. No shit, Sherlock. Yes, my attack is very low. We get it. We get it. My attack is about as high 
as the number of pixels in my nubby ass tail. So, look at that. I am doing absolutely no damage to him. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Burn and pillage. Made for battle. That's a StarCraft reference, if you people are stupid and don't get that. Lady Tina. You want a swift mega kick instead? Oh god. Oh god, she's gonna kick me in the balls. Not the balls, I love them! Not the balls! I need that for fappy fun time. Okay, so, no clear favorites again. Weakening the foe. You like to swap Pokemon. Well, Fanfy, you did absolutely nothing, so. Switch you with. Sid Widow. Because I like having wood. And pseudo wood. It's just about wood. Show me that you have guts. I don't have guts, but I do have the glory. I mean, isn't that what all the girls want? They just want a piece of the glory? I mean, the glory pole? I mean, look at this thing. This thing's huge. It's like... 8 pi squared r7 to the x. That's how big it is. And if you can mathematically figure out how big that is, then I will be impressed because I just made up a fucking random ass equation. That that's not like something you can actually just oh well you take the log because exponents are logarithms. Say goodbye log. Goodbye log. B low y equals x or is it B the x equals y? I forget. It all depends on how the logarithm's set up, and I don't remember how the basic logarithm was set up. I think it was log of x base b equals y, in which case I think it'd be, yeah, it would be b to the y equals x. Okay, so b to the y equals x. Say goodbye log! Goodbye log! That's all you gotta do. That's how you mathematize these things. You gotta be mathematicianal, and you gotta strategize your use of calculatory meters. And if you can't tell by now, I'm making words up out of my ass like I always do. Which we now know that my ass is in fact my mouth, because sphincter muscles, which are found all throughout the body, including the mouth mouthular region, so, I am talking out of my sphincters, so yes, please, and thank you. Fuck you and your little purple bubbles. You can go suck a dick, Roselia. If that is your real name. Is it? Is it? I don't think it is. You know how I know it's not your name? Because a rose by any other name would smell just as sweet. Oh, oh, you don't even know where that came from. You don't. Grass whistle? Really? You're, you're trying you're trying this bullshit on me? Oh, I'll make you go to sleep. Uh, maybe I should be doing a move that does a bit more damage. Cotton spore. Fuck you. Cotton only makes me stronger because cotton made a lot of people in history stronger. Because if black people before the Civil War weren't picking all that cotton, they wouldn't be as strong because they're not learning how to cope with the environment and living outside. And yes, I did just make an argument for pro-slavery and that kind of makes me a horrible person, but it also proves that I could potentially be a lawyer. Yeah. Kind of like how I explained that sweatshops should be legal because everything's a sweatshop. I I basically explained in in more elaborate words that the womb is a sweatshop because it's hot, it's a tight space, and you don't get breaks because you're constantly growing. And growing is your job while you're in there. And 
Actually, I don't think I want to switch because I like my team how it is. Nice, hard, and fast, just like me. This is probably the most ADD intensive, ADHD intensive video I've done. No, probably not. I think I've done worse. I mean, I, I did just promote slavery halfway through this, though, so. That, that, that might be a bit of a problem. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not supposed so much promoting slavery as pointing out a silver lining to slavery. <laughs> kind of like I pointed out there was a silver lining to having oil, an oil rig disaster in Alaska. Because smaller population sizes evolve faster than things with larger population sizes. And in Alaska, it needs rapid evolution to put up with global climate change. I'm not going to call it global warming because it's not global warming because it's getting colder in some areas. So global warming is complete bullshit because it's not getting warmer everywhere. It's getting colder in some places. That's my explanation of global warming. So, and, uh, hmm, let me think. Ah, phone. God damn it. Okay, I'm back. But I forget what I was talking about. I got sidetracked with phone conversation. Alright, what? I have no clue what I was talking about, to be completely honest with you. I like it. Ugh. Not gonna worry about it, not gonna try and recall what I was going to say, what my plans were for conversationalizing pain attack. Come on, let's, let's just get him out of the way. Let's just finish this up. Let's wrap this up. Let's go, people. Let's go. Showtime in ten minutes. Oh my god. He's fucking alive. Why are you still alive? Yeah, 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 come at me, bro, come at me. You got plugs in your hair like you're waving like you just don't care. I can't rap shit. And <laughs> I can't even think up half decent rhymes off the top of my head. Um, what should I do? Rock slide? Because that's what all badasses do. They just crush shit with rock. I lift things up and put them down. Okay, so, uh, let's sign you up. I lift things off and push them down. Push them down. Why would you be pushing them down? Well, I guess it kind of makes sense. I mean, they're going for, like, the douchebag meathead kind of guy, so I guess it kind of makes sense, because he's, like, pushing people over like nerds. He's just being generally a douchebag. Like, you know, like douchebags are. Douchebags are douchebags, because... Douchebags. I mean, it's right there in the name. It's it's like trying to explain to a Russian person why he's Russian. It's you're Russian. I mean, duh. Of course you're Russian. You're Russian. What what else would you be? American? American Russian, which could actually happen if like a Russian guy comes to American. American comes to American. Comes to American, yes. American is now a country, and they hablo americano, and I know hablo americano. Or whatever the hell the tune is, I, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Bears! Hello, bear. Are you ready to die, bear? Oh, the bear is crying! No! Not the bear! How dare you cry! You make me feel bad for you, bear! I don't want to kill you, but you're in my way! No! It's so adorable! It's sleeping! Oh, sleepy bear! Sleepy time! Lovely, lovely, sleepy bear. Sleepy bear. Hello. 
have a huge sneaky bear. Such a cutie, it's like a little moon on his head because he, oh my god, a moon on his head, a crescent moon, he is mooning us, but also a crescent because the curvature of the crescent is equal to the curvature of your spine. He's mooning people with scoliosis! Yes, I just conspiracy theoried the shit out of that thing. That, that's what I did in the middle of math class. I, I, I'm going to try to explain the uh, logic behind the conspiracy theory. Why does no one have a clear favorite? I mean, really, why? No, I, I think I'm good. Uh, I forget what his Pokemons were. He had an Alekia, then he had a bear, and he had some other thing. And I don't remember what that some other thing was. Anyway, conspiracy theory. Here, here's the conspiracy theory. Okay, so, the Freemasons made the government of America. And the government made the Pentagon to defend America. Now, the Pentagon, in case you're wondering, is in the shape of a Pentagon, but if you connect all the internal points of the Pentagon, it creates a pentagram. A pentagram is used in demonic rituals to summon demons and the devil, who is clearly going to be summoned in 2012 because that's when the apocalypse is happening. And my Bible tells me that the apocalypse, there's going to be fire, and there's going to be brimstone, and there's going to be the devil coming up and being, Hey guys, I'm going to fuck your day up. Bleh. And so clearly 2012 is when the devil is getting summoned at the Pentagon. The devil... And, and here's where it gets really complicated. The devil is working with the Mayans because... I mean, clearly, the Mayans predicted that we would all die in 2012. The Mayans, who also created step pyramids, which are similar to the pyramids in Egypt, which if you look at the back of the American dollar, there is an Egyptian pyramid with an eye at the top of it, and what is the eye in the pyramid? A symbol of the Illuminati. The Illuminati are working with the Freemasons, and the Mayans to summon the devil in 2012. Oh, and you can throw in the fact that aliens are involved because clearly there's no way someone could perfectly create those pyramids by themselves. I mean, they didn't have the technology to do that. They really did not have the technology to do that themselves. So it must have been the aliens. The aliens were teaching the Mayans to build pyramids like the Freemasons, like the Illuminati did, and then they predicted when the devil would be summoned by the government who was created and is still run by the Freemasons. And as everyone who's played the Assassin's Creed games know, the Illuminati is the same as the Templar. The Templar who ran the Crusades in the name of Jesus even though they knew they were going to destroy the world with Satan proving that the world is the most ironic son of a bitch in the world. The world is the most ironic son of a bitch in the world. Yes! That. I was going to say that's the most retarded thing that's ever come out of my mouth, but I know that's wrong. I know that's a complete lie. I'm sure there has been much more ridiculous shit coming out of my mouth. Like you, Cupitar. More like Cupitar, cause he's dumb. Ho ho! Mmm, <coughs> tasty. Why are you- why are you using dig? Why are you using dig, friend? Call it, friendo! I love that movie. That movie is a good movie. Um, and if you don't know what movie I'm talking about, then uh, you should try calling it Friendo before I shove my foot up your ass. I don't know. I don't know. 
I'm trying to find a way that would reference the movie again without sounding completely ridiculous. Okay, I'll, I'll just come on right out and say it. If you don't know what movie I'm referencing, I'm going to have to get an oxygen tank and use the pressurized air to shoot a piston into your brain, killing you instantly. People who have watched the movie understand that perfectly. People who know what movie I'm talking about but haven't watched the movie have no clue what I'm talking about. And people who didn't get the reference to begin with, they... Ah! Okay. Okay, just... It's gonna scream really loud right there. Not, not that loud, but really weird. Yeah. It, it kind of sucks. I bought Fraps, and I can't use Fraps for these games. I can only use it for the games that have really complex graphics. It's For some reason, it doesn't pick up emulators, so it kind of makes me sad, but at least then it gives Camtasia something to do. Whatever. I don't care. I still have my soda, which is wonderful, and... Hopefully we can finish up these freaking battles soon. Ish. I mean at least soon. If if not soon, at least soon ish. And Sableye, really? You're you're just gonna go with the tankiest things you possibly can? Fuck you. Mmm. 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 Doing this. Doing this. Okay. I love it. I love it. Come at me, bro. You still haven't gotten past my first Pokemon. Actually, Sableye is a lot less tanky than that freaking Pupitar was. Yeah, yeah, you just keep using moves that you can't even freaking hit me with. Go, go for it. And I just committed suicide. Wonderful! Was it doctor assisted suicide? Pro probably not. I, I don't know. Whatever. Actually, there was no doctor involved. So, nope, it's just suicide. This is your chance to make your trainer proud. Punch yourself in the face repeatedly like a douchebag. Look at my rocks. Oh, I got these stones. They're just so heavy to lug around. I just slide them around. Go, go, just flail about. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna have to wake him up before we go-go. And, yeah, no clear favorites, I freestyle, freestyle, and, yeah, I, I really don't care about switching. I just want to get this shit done. Get shit done. There is none better than me. I beg to differ, because I am here. There is none better than you, Trevin. Trayvon. Where's your hoodie? I, I feel like this is too soon to be making jokes about this, so... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna stop right there. I, I've already... talked about... so many things in this video. I, I'm sure, like, a month or two from now, people are going to be, like, replying to what I say in this video, and I'm just going to look through the comments and be like, what? <laughs> I don't remember... what? I'm confused, and then I'm not going to waste my time re-watching the video, because that seems kind of stupid to me. But... <laughs> I don't know, That that's starting to happen with my rocket slime walkthrough. People keep commenting on things I say in the video and I don't... I seriously do not remember it saying any of the stuff. Like, the one guy asked for a counter of how many times I said sphincter. I don't remember saying sphincter. I remember swearing a lot. I remember saying ass a lot. 
I don't remember saying sphincter there that much since like I mean the only reason I'm saying sphincter as much as I do nowadays is because I learned in biology that a sphincter is any sort of plug for like it's pretty much any controllable valve in your body not really controllable because a lot of them are just automatic but it's a valve and after I learned that it's just a random valve inside your body that I don't know shut up shut up you I will confuse you and then you will be confused and then you'll smack into a wall and die oh wait you already died so I win or do I turtle hello turtle I will call you Leonardo and you will be DiCaprio and Da Vinci and you will paint many pictures of explosions because Michael Bay and what the fuck was that holy shit wow is this the end? Shut up, dinger! God damn it! I, I'm going to. Oh, you're gonna be a douchebag. Lovely, I love it. Can we please, like, somehow get a critical hit and kill him, or something? Come on, come on, quick! Kill him! Kill him! Yes, 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 yes! I think we got. It. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you, dinger! Shut up! No! No, you bastard, you fucking focus sash. Oh, wake up, wake up! No! Damn it. Oh, I lost. Unless... Yes! No, wake up! There's nothing stupid, yes! Wake up! He's giving you all these chances! God damn it! Shut up, digger! Wake up, Sudo Widow! Come on, do it for me! Do it for me! No! You're a fucking failure! You're a fucking failure! Wow! 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 Sudo Widow! Who would have guessed that he is literally the most fucking useless thing? Really, he. He had so many chances. Shut up, Bell! God damn it, I need to go turn that off and I need to end this episode and bye! Need to need to save though. Save save my game. And and then I need to go shut off the bell thing, because that's obnoxious. Stop dinging. Bye.